All right. So what is probably one of the best uh, biographies about Douglas MacArthur? And for that, we're going to turn to American Caesar by William Manchester. Here is the cover, at least of the one I have. Um, like every older book, there's multiple covers out there. Excuse me. But part of the reason why I say it's one of the best is it's very easy to follow, right? So one of the things I've noticed, oops, <laughs> with especially with biographies, is that sometimes the authors like to jump around to give context, which isn't necessarily bad, but it's they tend to go more in depth in... I'll give an example. So say they're talking about something, for example, let's say we're talking about uh, Douglas MacArthur's time in World War One, right? And say he made a certain decision and to give context, the author's starting to describe something that happened 30 years later, it's basically like, you know, how this decision formed him or um, sometimes, or like major flashbacks too, where they'll go back in time to kind of try to give more context to a, uh, To a certain decision or event in this person's life. Um, some authors tend to um, go into that flashback way too much to the point to where like you tend to kind of forget where in this person's life you actually are in the book. And that wasn't really a problem with this one. So William Manchester, I think, did a pretty good job of being rather cro chronological the whole time. So like basically, literally like it was very much so felt like you were actually reading the story of his life, as opposed to um, a book review we'll get into later, um, is the uh, is that of the biography of um, Dwight D. Eisenhower, and where that was kind of a problem, and there were some times where like it felt like you'd have like fifty pages of a flashback, and you forget what point in this in Eisenhower's life you were actually dealing with. Um, bit of an exaggeration, but not really uh, for that one. However, that wasn't really a problem with this book for that. Um, also, there's pictures everywhere in this thing. They also have maps of pretty much everything that he's done throughout the entire book. Granted, remember, Douglas MacArthur lived from 1880 to 1964. So he very much so everything's black and white, as you would expect, but at least there's pictures. So there's that. Um, pretty much every uh, opportunity to get a photo, um, the author did. So there's that. Like literally just opening up to random pages and you can see it's just maps of the Philippines um, and so on all over the place. There's some maps in Germany to give uh, context during the World War II sections of this book and so on. Um, with that being said, uh, for this is kind of this video is supposed to be more of like a review of the book itself. I'm not necessarily going to go into the life of Douglas MacArthur because um, I've been working on like an entire playlist for that, going like piece by piece. Um, first, starting with this book as a source, um, to where it's kind of going much more in depth onto each section of his life. Um, however, I'm not going like obnoxiously in depth. Um, because I'm trying to get other sources as well. And so one of the things I've been working on is uh, going through like National Archives and finding like, you know, maybe orders or things that he specifically wrote and things like that, news articles, whatever, from actually back then. And we'll go over those uh, later too. Um, so there's that. And I'll put a card for that playlist in the corner so that you guys can get easy access to that. But that's pretty much... Um, kind of the whole plan. I'm using Douglas MacArthur as like kind of like the first like in-depth sort of study in a way, kind of like a case study where I'm going more in-depth into the person itself and really kind of studying it a bit. Um, so let me know how you guys like that, um, especially in the actual playlist videos too. But um, this is a pretty lengthy book to get on that back on the review itself. Um, it's a little over 700 pages of content and a very large uh, note section, we'll say, give you like an actual page count or so. So, yeah, it's 
lengthy. Like the actual notes and references is about 50 pages long. So it's very, we'll say well researched um, to say the least. And he goes really in depth on like a lot of the uh, like little things in his life as well. So like if you're actually like if you really want to learn about Douglas MacArthur, this is a really good book to at least start with because other sources and stuff that I've looked into onto him, um, there's very I don't think they've really found anything that wasn't at least talked about in this book. Um, like maybe it's some event that happened in his life that isn't also in here. Um, at least that I've found thus far. We'll leave it there. Um, can't be entirely um exclusive but yeah that's pretty much it um literally it's his, his whole life starting with his father um and basically the uh there's the battle of missionary ridge i believe is what it's called in chattanooga uh, where he really got his name and kind of started to make the macarthur name itself um his father arthur macarthur i mean if you couldn't tell they really liked the name arthur uh was basically known as like the boy colonel because at like the age of I believe it was 18 um he really like took over um that battle was known for like his bravery and so on during the battle of chattanooga and really made a name for macarthur himself and also his father became a major general i believe off the top of my head to um and so Douglas was basically like in his dad's shadow his whole life for the most part um, until he by I'd probably say like some people would um, and some historians probably would describe saying that he like greatly outshined him in the end because you know especially when you get later on what he did in his life but still even though um, Douglas greatly outranked his father um, in the end um, he always, like, kept him as kind of a measuring stick in a way. He always, whenever he made major decisions, he always believed, or he always, like, thought as if his dad was still there and would kind of, like, use that as a sounding board in a way. Um, and that's something we explicitly talked about in one of the videos in that playlist, too. So that's in there. Um, but, yeah. Um, tons of stuff in this book. Highly recommend uh, very easy to read, um, tons of maps all over the place for everything, really gives scale to the entire Pacific Theater too in World War II, but, excuse me, yeah, in terms of an overall review, I think I'm going to leave this one here, um, just because, again, making an entire playlist for who he kind of was in a, as a person and really going in depth. So we'll leave that there. Uh, the playlist can probably can be found in the top right corner and hope to see you guys in one of those.